Today, I have rolled away the reproach of the past. I have rolled away the reproach of slavery. I have rolled away the reproach, oh Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, today as I lay my hands on these women, that you will deliver them from any curse, any rejection, and any reproach that has been laid upon them by people who don't look like them, sound like them, and I repent on behalf of the white race, the Caucasians, those who enslaved your forefathers, your ancestors, not all that long ago. And I thank you, Lord, for reconciliation among all races because your kingdom is all tribes, all tongues, and all nations. There's not going to, we don't need an Asian revival or a black revival or a Latin revival. We need a kingdom revival. So as I lay my hands, I thank you, Lord, that you will do what you want to do in Jesus' name. You ready, men? I break that reproach. You are accepted. You are accepted. Shakate Roshe. You are accepted in the beloved. You are accepted for who you are. You are accepted. 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 Woman of God, you are accepted. You are accepted. You are accepted. Angelique, you are accepted. You are accepted. Every African American woman. I want you to come up to this altar right now. Every African American woman in this place. To make a straight line. Hey, Shabashe. Come on, April. Yep, but she did it. Shut out of who should it eat it? Rap but it eat that it eat. Today, there's been history made in the United States. You can put your politics aside, just put your politics aside. I know I run the risk of offending some because of politics. Don't look at politics. Today, the Senate confirmed the first African-American U.S. Supreme Court justice in this nation's history. Thank you, Jesus. And black women have had a hard time. I know black men have had a hard time. I know Asian men and women. I, I know everybody's had a hard time. But black women have had a hard time. Black women, have you had a hard time? A hard time. But the Lord showed me that today a glass ceiling was broken over you. And the Lord would say to you today I am rolling away the reproach of generational curses I am rolling away stigmas that have been unfairly placed upon you for I am putting my wind at your back and you will find divine favor opportunities where there were closed doors the Lord says begin to cry out to me like never before now, what we just witnessed is all wrong. We know as Christians that everything we just saw in that video is wrong. It's just the whole setting is wrong. But one thing I want to do, and I want to point out with a lot of these white SJW, you know, 
these these warriors, these social justice warriors, and what they do. Now, listen, if she was out in the world doing what she did, separated from the church and Christianity as a whole, I would accept it because it's in its own little box. It's wrong, but it's out there. But when they come into a Christian setting or church setting, and uh, uh, and this woman is a, is a homosexual, okay? It's not... It's bad enough that they're allowing a woman to, to preach, but they're allowing a homosexual woman to do that. She's taking the position of elder. And the one thing that stood out to me in the video was when she comes down and she begins putting her hand on the black women's forehead and saying, you are accepted. You are accepted. You are accepted. It's arrogance. That's what it is. It's absolute arrogance. OK, it's not just wrong. It's arrogant to say who are first off, who are you to tell anyone that they're accepted? OK, that they're accepted based on their skin color because they're not accepted. Those black women are not accepted because they're black. You're not accepted because you're white or Asian or Hispanic. You want to know who are accepted? The ones that repent and put their faith in Jesus Christ and are born again. Those are the ones who are accepted. And it has nothing to do with skin tone, because the truth is we are all one race, the human race. And we all suffer from the same problem, the same thing that puts us at enmity with God and it's sin. And we all suffer from that. OK, we are one race. And that's the chief problem with these SJWs is they focus in on skin color. OK, and what happened in the past. And that's fine in its own little box. But when you bring it into a Christian setting, you, 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 you muddy everything. OK, because that's not the point of this. This has nothing to do with what our your ancestor did or how we our ancestors were treated back in the past or, or how we're treated now. That's not the point. OK, the point is a gospel that saves. And if you're not going to preach that, get out the way. What are you doing?